Today we shot a, a scene with Lisa, an ex-boyfriend, and the other woman. <laughs> no way out! <laughs> Where the only path the boyfriend has out of the confrontation is, um... No! What are you doing now? <gasps> Through, through the window. We're sort of embellishing Lisa's story here. Um, the two flashbacks actually kind of did happen. So there was a flashback in my past. You know, we've all had it where you, you're you either, you got somebody on the side and you kind of hope you don't get caught, but then you get caught. You're either that person or you're the one that was the side person. You told me it was over with her. You told me it was over with her. It was. And then another ex was complaining about the amount of things that I hoard. You know what? Why don't you just take your fucking musty petticoats, your 20 bags of yarn, <laughs> your broken beta tapes, and just get the fuck out of my life. Both of those are based on true stories, I think, um, which is awesome. I have a lot of junk. I have a lot of stuff, so we kind of made fun of that. I'm not even listening to him. I'm just going through my box of stuff as he's throwing me out onto the street. Lisa would tell me these stories. Um, that happened to her and characters that she knew in the scene back in New York in the 90s. All these great stories that Lisa has. The second time I met them and we read a read through uh, for the script, she prefaced everything with, this actually happened. And it was just like one of the most hilarious things that, you know, like the fact that this wonderful person has this great, this life that you can get these fantastic stories out of is just amazing to me. Kira here was kind enough to set me up on a computer date with a very special man. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, I'm a good friend. The Dangler is a fictional character where Lisa's of a certain age where she doesn't even know how to date because she's been married since she was like 17. So she doesn't even know how to date. So her, her weird Bulgarian roommate. <laughs> Crying sex? It's the best sex. Sets her up on a computer date, but she doesn't understand that it's like a male prostitute site. <laughs> I can't do anything right. <laughs> so Kevin Blackwelder as the Dangler uh, was easily the best casting decision um, for that whole episode. He embodied that character perfectly, like. Never seen anyone who could cry on cue so convincingly and so over the top. The Dangler is um, a very low self-esteem, weepy male prostitute who just, he can't get his shit together. And so Lisa's trying to give him a pep talk and it just, things didn't work out. But they did have sex for like hours, so that was fine. Kira, thanks a lot, I couldn't walk for like a week. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> so she's in the apartment in five with Kira and Missy who promise that they're gonna meet her at the club because she's, the label is forcing her to go watch Lake Cambrian to be part of the team. And she doesn't want to go alone because they suck. I mean, she, they're assholes to her and they're going to fight. So she wants some backup. Well, we'll have fun tonight. Yeah, let's have fun tonight. Thanks. Yeah. The biggest challenge of shooting in the living room for epi episode five was Star something. <laughs> what do you think about the show, being on the show? Um, well, I think, um, I 
think it's 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 a nice show. I, I you know I'm really thankful that Lisa lets me sleep on her stoop. <laughs> it does get a little bit cold sometimes, but <laughs> But you know, I'm just... Uh... <laughs> so tell me exactly, like, what, who is Missy Dingle and what is she all about? Or Missy Diggle? Missy Diggle is a very, very nice person. To the point where she doesn't know how to say no to people at all, ever. No matter what they want from her. Um, yeah, she... Um, she she loves to um, she loves to love. She lo she's a very loving person. <laughs> and yeah, I think um, I was thinking about her, and you know, and she she's decided that she's gonna um, go on a dating website, and she's gonna go she's gonna get a sugar daddy. This is what she's decided. <laughs> she was like getting upset because. She realized that she's not a prostitute. <laughs> I really want a sugar daddy, but I'm not a prostitute. Oh shit, how do you reconcile that? I don't know. <laughs> well, what's she gonna do? I don't, well, I'd ha I might have to get like fake boobs and stuff. <laughs>